over here. What's good, YouTube? Bah! This is your boy Tyler Nine One Nine Seven, and today I want to go ahead and talk about Mortal Kombat Eleven. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and start this video. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and talk about Mortal Kombat Eleven. Well, man, what can I say about Mortal Kombat Eleven that most people probably haven't already said? This game is good, guys. <laughs> that's the best, pretty much I can truly say about Mortal Kombat Eleven. I really enjoyed this Mortal Kombat, and I feel like it's definitely one of the be um, best ones that I have played in a in, in a while. But not to say MKX wasn't a good game. I liked that one too. It's just that I feel like what I really like Mortal Kombat 11 is that the game, I like how they set it up. It makes you feel like that, kind of like the old school Mortal Kombat. Like, you have to own your skills, let alone you just spam and move and stuff. Even though you can do the same thing here. But still, I like, that's why I really like Mortal Kombat 11. I like how it's kind of like not super crazy fast pace like how MKX was because on that game you just run at the enemy charge them and like I mean I feel like you just you know like you don't have to be really good more MKX you just can spam the move and that's it but with MK11 I like about it because it's more like your fight like you know like you own your skills that's why I really enjoyed this game more so than like 10 but like I said, 10 was still a good game, but this one, they did a really good job. Uh, so a few things I can talk about the game what I really like about, um, I really enjoy the story. The story is like, to me, like, especially in a fighting game, that's what makes it worth a $60 game. Besides the fighting part, because I mean, any fighting game, the replay value comes more to the fighting, you know, online and stuff, let alone than just the story. But... What, but one thing about Mortal Kombat, what I really like about this franchise, because it's the one game franchise that of a fighting game that they deliver a good story, and it, the gameplay is good to play a lot of stuff. And so my thing is with the story, MK11 really delivers how it continued off from MKX, and you know. If you guys haven't really know what the plot is, you know, um, before I start, like I said, you know, this is a no spoiler, so don't worry about any of that. Any of that. But, um, but it can't like this plot is about how this woman named Kronika, how she is the keeper of time, basically, and she wanted to reverse all the stuff that Raiden have done since MKX. When you know, when y'all saw from the trailers and stuff. When MK11 was kind of announced and stuff, how he became, you know, dark and evil. So she wanted to take, pretty much take him out of existence because she felt like his plans, what he had done, it messed up with hers. But, so that's why, uh, from the channels, you guys see that how she manipulates time, uh, yeah, manipulate time and how she, like, kind of somewhat break the barriers of it. So with that, that's why you guys seen like the some of the OG characters from Mortal Kombat, like like uh like so like for example like uh like Johnny Cage, like he see his old his for his old self compared to how he looks now his current self. So basically, like bringing the old characters, uh you know old selves to the current selves, how they meet up with each other and how they come to play to fight Chronica. That's kind of maybe the gist of what the main plot of the story is. Basically, to stop Kronika and this big old war and fight. But man, guys, I really enjoyed the story. The story was very detailed and well. And the thing about it, like, it just, like I said, I did, like I said, this is no spoiler, so don't worry. I'm not trying to spoil you nothing. But I will leave give you this idea that it's like from the end of the game. It's like it's it's kind of hard to really explain. I feel like it's more it's more questions than answers because when you because with the ending, I want to say it's somewhat like I said just just a smidgen like a cliffhanger, but then again, it feels like 
is a complete story but like I said somewhat so with that it's like man I, I don't know guys like if, uh, if y'all guys were if y'all been waiting to play MK11 go ahead and play this game guys especially with the story cuz <laughs> like it, it's definitely it definitely some stuff going there and it's like it's <laughs> there's a lot going on it's very detailed the story was really well all the characters is awesome seeing the current and old selves it was, this was a very good story and like I said it, it makes you it's like the way if you feel like when you see the end of the game it kind of make you feel like will there be a 12 I just I was just leaving like that guys like I said but trust me, like it, it's not much spoiler really at the really at all for that one. It just it kind of gives you the idea, like the way had it ended. It felt like it felt like it may be a cliffhanger, but then again, it felt like it felt complete somewhat. So, but like I said, hopefully for Nether Realms, they you know they know what they're doing. Hopefully they you know hopefully there eventually will be an MK12, but you know you know of course like. Let them take their time, cause we don't we don't need no now, cause you know, in K11 that's you know the Mortal Kombat game. Uh, but anyway, um, besides that, the story was it was very detailed. I enjoy everything about it. Uh, I guess some other stuff I really like about MK11 is um, um, let me see, definitely the fighting. I know I said that kind of before, but yeah, the fighting. I like how they did the style. It's very different. Uh, I like how you can customize your own characters now, uh, your favorite MK character, and put different type of colors or wh whatever how you want to customize them. It's cool that you can do that. Um, I like I like how the crypt is is very different than most crypts. I like how you guys can be a character and run through the crypt and stuff and open the box chests and stuff. But I know me, I'm not going to really be into that crook part m too much because I mean like, I want to get, like I said, I'm definitely a huge fan of Mortal Kombat, but I want to really necessarily say I'm just a straight up, like, how to say, like, somewhat like a diehard fan, and you guys know what I mean, like, you know what I'm saying, I, I really enjoy Mortal Kombat, it's definitely one of my favorite fighting game franchises, but it's like, I know I'm not gonna waste so much time, like put, I mean, put so many hours in the game to try to go through all those chests and all that, and try to get all the unlockables for all the characters, like the you know all the skins or whatever. I, I'm just not gonna do that. But like I said, this game definitely has a lot of replay value. I'm definitely trying to get back into it more, cause I, uh, cause I know some days I haven't really been playing it, cause really this review. Should have happened already, but you know, I just been kind of sidetracked a lot, and I was like, you know what, I didn't really get beat the story because I, mean, I was just, I don't know what I was doing during that time. But anyway, with that, this game is very good. I I really enjoy it, and like I said, I'm going, I'm definitely going to play this game from time to time. I'm trying to, I'm really trying to like play more online and stuff like that. You guys will see that once I get. Uh, get my Elgato I plan on getting it on Friday so you guys will see that so more likely that's gonna be one of my first streams on my switch that you are gonna see me play Mortal Kombat but um, but yeah like I said for Mortal Kombat it definitely has so much replay value um, let's see yeah replay value what else um, is that that I know some people complain about the uh, the uh, I did Times of Tower. I think I haven't done that. I just been playing. Yeah, I haven't done the uh, time or like, Towers of Time. I've been playing most of, like the classic mode and stuff. But I can see where people was complaining about how you know pretty much the grind to get all the uh, like skins and all whatever, all different details. I that's one thing I like about Nether Realm. They listen to their community and they try to improve the game so much. And I can't wait till we get closer to like getting the. Uh, DLC characters, whoever they are, more likely, cause I mean, if, I mean, if it be like the, the leaks that we saw for MK11, how they all got the different names and stuff that you guys already know what I'm talking about. Um, hopefully, I mean, if that if that's the full, um, like all the DLC characters gonna become the game, it's gonna be very cool, and hopefully that have you know, hopefully 
majority of it is true because I mean that some of them characters gonna be cool on there especially like you know like something like Spawn or uh I didn't saw like Nightwolf like you know characters that we haven't seen at all or have seen in a very long time but um I'm trying to think is there anything else about the game I would say before I end this video um I know another thing I could truly say that like uh <laughs> one, oh yeah, one thing I want to say about uh, MK11, this is definitely a game to get good. Like, that's serious. You gotta get good. And that's why I like it better. That's why I, that's say, that's why I say I like this more than playing something like MKX because it's the game that you feel like you have to get good. I mean, like, you know, because, um, you know, for me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily call myself a casual Mortal Kombat. Like, fighting games, I always try to be very competitive and I uh, and try to, I'm, I'm competitive when it comes to fighting games, but you know one thing about fighting games, you know, it's like you gotta try your best to get good. You know what I mean? So like this game is like I'm still trying to work on improve my skills. Like I haven't found like close to like who's my main yet. Like I know it's been kind of while. I should probably have my main by now, but you know with these characters, like you have to really play around with them and kind of get the feeling like you know. Get, get, you know, you just gotta feel your character. You know, you know what I'm saying. Like, you got to feel on to feel like, okay, like this is one of, my, you know, this is my man. I'm gonna play them all the time, like this and that. So I'm still trying to figure that out with MK11. But, uh, but you know, like I said, like I'm more in the borderline. Like I'm a like an average player when it comes like um, to Mortal Kombat. Like you know, like I don't, I want to say I put so many hours in it, but I want to say like I'm just. A casual like I'm just trash, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I know I ain't trash. Like I mean, I ain't say I'm very I'm the best, but you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I only consider myself trash, you know. But I definitely gotta prove my skills on there. I, I would say that much. But um, let's see. Is there anything else I can say before in this video? Oh, yeah. One thing uh, I would say I like to go ahead and give a shout out to. Uh, Alan the God, he is one of the guys that have accepted my open challenge of Mortal Kombat 11. If you guys haven't seen that video, you know, go check it out. Even though it's been a little while, but still go check it out, whatever. And like I said, my open challenge is still available. If you guys want to fight me on Mortal Kombat 11 on the Switch, write down below or hit me up on the Instagram with, with my uh, social media links. Like, let me know. Like, we go, you go box. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm ready. Like, let's get it. But, um, but yeah, like, uh, yeah, shout out to him. And with that, guys, if you want to challenge him, hit him up on Instagram because I'll have his link down below. You want to hit him up on Instagram and try to, you want to face him on MK11 on the Switch, of course, because that's why I fight him on the Switch. So, you know, you have a Switch. I'm gonna play MK11 against him or me. Let me know. You know, links are down below. And besides that, uh, I believe that's it for the video. I will say uh, one more thing. If I had to rate this game one to ten, I know you guys go to and say this a lot. I and trust me, I do it a lot. But I definitely say this game is a ten out of ten. And like I said, this is not trying to be like no full on credit with this. This is just me personally as a gamer who really enjoyed this game. And I know the game had a few problems like during like, I want to say launch, but like, you know, during the few, I'll say a week or so, when like, you know, a lot of the controversy about like, they feel like sort, sort of like the microtransaction and all that type of stuff, how they had MK11 done this one and stuff, but you know. Still, like I said, the game ain't perfect, but I really feel like this game is a 10 out of 10. Cause one, the story is great, the gameplay is great, and I feel like this is definitely a game that you would want to come back and replay a bunch of times. So that's why I really want to give this game a 10 out of 10. Like, that's my personal opinion. This is not become, you know, one thing I would say, guys, um, when me, when I, like I, I said this in another video, but still, like, when it, when it comes to game reviews, I try to keep them short, sweet, to the point. And if I say 10 out of 10, I know I say a lot, but that's just to give credit to the game. Like, the game is just good. Like I said, this is not to say, like, this game, when I say 10 out of 10, I do not mean, like, the game is, like, the best game ever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
No, I, that's not what I'm trying to mean. I just mean 10 out of 10, like this game is very good. It's worth buying and you should go out and get it. That's how I feel personally. Like most times, like trust me, like most games I review is, you know, it's not going to only be 10 out of 10, but if I say 10 out of 10, just know that it's more like the game is good. Go buy it. Let alone just thinking like 10 out of 10, like, oh, the, the best game ever, like that type of thing. No. That's not what I mean. But alright guys, that is it for my video. So go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, follow me on my social media outlets, and hit the bell to get notification of my next video. Alright guys, peace. I'll see you guys on my next video. And like I said, like I say, if you want this whooping, get over here!